For my knee schnapps who enjoy plum as much as I do, what if we add oud, plum, and sprinkle 24 karat gold leaf on a fragrance? What do you get? Well, let's roll my motherfucking music so we can smell this joint together. <laughs> Blessed morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. This is your boy. See to you to the B today. Sometimes I gotta cater to my niche knobs of higher perfumery. I have maybe a one to two percentile, but I can't disregard y'all. I still love y'all because y'all love me by just clicking on this video. So this was sent to me by Renier Parfums, and when I opened it up, I was like, Oh, there's gold in here. Cuba is a gold whore. I love anything that's blingy and shiny, especially gold. When a fragrance comes with gold leaf inside of it, I anticipate there to be nothing else but regal elegance and feeling like a Dubai chic. Why do I live in the US? I should live in the Middle East because I feel like I should be walking around in a silk cape and knee high boots straddling a horse saying I'm that bitch. So I started looking up the notes of the fragrance and just two things caught my eye. I don't even remember the rest. We'll look them up together, but all I remember was oud, okay, plum, yes. The fragrance is by Renier Parfums, and this is Oud Manthis. Can we see the gold flakes in here? Beautiful presentation, let's keep it a thousand. And I like to be direct and honest and to the point. Yes, this was sent to me, absolutely appreciative, but this is not for the mass appeal. This is only for those niche snobs. Now, what I'm getting from this fragrance right upon rip is a very, very nice, juicy plum, but but off the nose and off the initial can smell a little bit medicinal, a little medical, a little cough syrup-ish on the opening, which can deter people from that first impressions like, oh no, wait, just let it do its job on your skin. Do not judge it by the first impression. I am the biggest criminal and offender of first impression judgment. I'm, I, I'm that dude. I love first impressions. My thing is first impressions. Why? Because I, it feels like Christmas. Unboxing, unwrapping, smelling, and I want instant gratification. I don't want to work for anything. I just want it now, yesterday, better. This is not that fragrance you're going to get the instant gratification from. You're going to get this medicinal cough syrup type vibe because of that plum juiciness, but give it to mid and dry down. It starts converting into this oody, wearable oud, not animalic, got a little bit of funk in it though. Juicy, leathery type fragrance off your skin and for some reason, pH level wise on my skin, I feel like that gold reacts sex appeal off of my skin. Depth, sexiness, that, that cough syrupy vibe that you get from the opening completely disappears off of my skin and it just becomes wet, juicy, ripe plums that you're squeezing all over your skin with a oud coat all over, sprinkled with gold leaf like if I'm going to Salt Bay's restaurant. Now there is a lot of floral components to this fragrance which could deter you if you look at the notes, but really the white florals here aren't OD. The osmanthus in here, which is kind of a prominent note, doesn't feel as prominent to me off of my skin as the oud plumminess. I really get a lot of the oud plumminess. You get white florals because there's different variety in there and you get more of a rosy plum oud combination off the skin. So it's not rose oud, it's more plum oud with rose. I'm really surprised of the dry down on this because usually when you get these bougie fragrances with gold in them, it really can go one of two ways. It's either hyped up too much because it has gold and you gotta do all this extra shit to make up for the fragrance deficiency or it leads up to it. This one can turn you off on the beginning, but I wanna say that lasts about five minutes or so. It really has to work and settle on the skin so you guys can see the performance aspect of this fragrance. Now, speaking of performance, it's not a beast off of my skin. Rarely are fragrances beast mode off of my skin, but it's not. It lives in a seven hour-ish mark. For an expensive fragrance, that's not amazing, but it's seven hours. It's a work shift, like, to each their own. If you're looking for something that lasts 600 hours, just throw fucking chlorine on you or something. This is not that. This is definitely more for the booty aficionado that's looking for 
something to stray away from that oud rose combination that's very popular and delicious and focus on oud plum. For me, this is a good three quarters of a ball spray, not a full ball spray because again, that opening is a little bit challenging and I know it's gonna challenge some people, but give it time or at least test this out if they do have a sample form because it will do craziness when it dries down. So three quarters of a ball spray. Okay. I get, pl my plums is smelling plummy. This is what I like about this fragrance. The juiciness, the ripeness of plum that's in here is crazy. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart. Have you heard of Renier Parfums? And if you have, which of their fragrance hits different on you? I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know what is biggest in the game? Smooches. For the fly gun holder, money folder, motor roller, star tag, when it's time to call back. For the rough rugger than raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse, sweet on top of my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would.